Okay, you own a twin cam, you're looking for more airflow, SNS offers CNC porting for your heads. If you ship them in, they port them, send them back to you, and you'd be surprised the difference. What we've run into here is Justin down in the R&D department. He's gonna explain exactly how they came to the port shape and the flow that, that they offer you, which is consistent for everybody now. They've done all the work, all you need to do, pull your head off your bike, send it in, they send it back, you bolt it back on and you're ready to rock. Justin, tell us a little bit about what it took to get to the point we're at right now. Well, Wally, we've been making cylinder heads for twin cams for, uh, since 2000, and uh, we make a complete head, and then we wanted to make a cheaper version um, of our ports and give people the flow that they can expect from an SNS product. So well, we, we have lots of heads laying around that, that we've played with, and we know what works over time, and, and so what we wanted to focus on was a cylinder head that worked well for a mid-sized motor, if you will, uh, something from uh, 100 to even as big as a 124, but, but mostly focused on our big bore kit for twin cams, the 106. And so in order to do that, we wanted a port that uh, had the most velocity through the, through the whole port and, and so that we can sustain uh, a lot of power in the lower RPMs. Um, anybody can make a port with a great big valve that just flows a, a pile of gobs and gobs of air but uh, the, the key uh, for us was to keep the velocity high while maintaining the CFM. So in order to do that, um, we, we of course had to invest in some digitizing equipment and, and take the shapes that we develop and turn them into uh, CNC programs. And so in our, in our cylinder head, what we do is we will, we will uh, CNC port the whole chamber, uh, we'll deck the head, open up the bowl. We don't, we don't pull out the seats or anything. We, we machine the existing seat with a, uh, a 1900 intake valve and uh, 1610 exhaust and of course the, the port all the way through. We do our best to, to make them clean up completely but uh, it's hard to do with, with the port shifting all the time uh, with, with the stock casting so you don't have control over that. Um, but what we uh, what we end up with is a, a good flowing port that, that maintains a high velocity so that we can make uh, on a 106, we'll, we'll be up around 110, even as high as 115 horse, uh, depending on what combination of intake and exhaust. Uh, generally, the heads are good for 10 horsepower and then uh, just as a bolt on. And then when you want to upgrade even further, of course, there's bigger intakes and whatnot that can bring it up to as high as 18 horse. So those are typical numbers that we've seen.